joining us right now. You say there's two big problems you're starting to see. We're yeah. always seeing yeah. a lot. Good morning and thanks morning. for having me in. Thanks for coming. Um, the two biggest things we see in the podiatric practice in terms of nails uh, include both nail fungus and ingrown nails. Okay. Both of them are easily diagnosed and have very viable, good options for treatment. Let's talk about nail fungus to begin. How serious can that be? So nail fungus is when you look at your nail and you see a white, yellow, brown thickening that's on there and you look down and you're wondering, how did I get this stuff? And it's actually made of a mold. A fungus is a type of mold. You see mold on shower curtains. It loves warm, moist, dark environments. Mm -hmm. So your foot in a shoe over the winter. And also if you have any kind of immunocompromised position, diabetes, things like that, you can be more prone to it. We have many viable options for nail fungus mm -hmm. though. Not all of them are as successful as we'd like to have, but if you discuss this with your podiatric physician, I think you'll be able to find options that may fit you depending upon what your risks are. Okay, so if you see some discoloration, you may want to go in, but certainly there's treatment for it. Absolutely. Okay. I like to treat these from inside out and from outside in, mm. as long as the patient's medical profile allows for a reduced risk of that treatment. Okay, sounds not as scary as I thought it no. would be. All right, let's talk about the ingrown toenail. What's going on there? How, yeah. how does it even happen? So the ingrown toenail is often in the pediatric patient but they're also in adults and certainly what you have to remember is that there's a piece of nail that's cutting and dug into the skin and until you remove that portion of nail that's cut into the skin rounds and rounds of antibiotics rounds and rounds of soak soaks are often hopeful wishful thinking sometimes you can be successful with it but oftentimes a simple in office quick numbing of the toe removing of that portion of nail that's in the skin gets rid of your problem mm -hmm. very quickly. And I would not ignore an ingrown tenon. I'll come in and get it just fixed. Yeah, I mean, it sounds painful. Uh, how, how does it happen to begin with? Um, usually it's an improper trimming. Mm -hmm. Usually you think you're cutting down the side, but you leave this little, they call it a spicule, this little like razor sharp portion of nail that's in there. And, um, and that is treated as a foreign body by the, uh, by the skin and the tissue and it tries to reject it. And that's where you get the inflammation, the redness and the swelling. All right. Dr. Pitchney, thank you so much for coming in. You're and if you welcome. have any other questions or you would like a referral, you can call 1-800-MD-MERCY. Up next.